Hey, hey everybody, Nikki here with Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, and I'm going to give you a little preview of what will be coming up with the Glass for Class sale. No, I got that wrong. Glass with Class. But it is a class sale, because this week we're going to be talking about kitchen wares, kitchen glass, stuff you might have found in your vintage kitchen. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of a few of the things I've got. Right here, I have got a Fenton hobnail with a piece of my hair on it. There we go. Chip and dip. Now, this was a very small chip and dip bowl, but dip in the center, chips around the outside. I could see this serving up some nice guacamole this summer on your patio, your porch. What else? Really cool piece. So this will be up for offer. <coughs> okay. The next piece I have, I got really excited when I found these little beauts. Some little condiment jars, jelly jars, condiment jars, you name them. And there's two of them, which is fabulous. And the George Briards, which is fantastic. Now, I am pretty sure that these are not the original spoons. They could be, but they just don't seem to quite fit right with this clothes. These will be up for offer. And next I have, and I'm going to massacre the name, so forgive me, but the sticker is still there, Kanawa Little Pitcher. And it has the grapes and leaves pattern to it. It has a nice little applied handle there. There's the bottom, but it's a really fun teal color. And I love the spout. This is gorgeous. <clears throat> and this fits more into barware, I will say that. And this is its original spoon, which is neat. This would have been sitting on classy little bars back in the day. And you would have taken this off and scooped out some little snacks that would have been there. Some little bar snacks, like maybe uh, beer nuts or little baby pretzels. It is a daisy, let me take the spoon off. It is a daisy and buttons pattern. And it has the silver tone. I'm not going to say it's real silver. Silver tone handle on it. Just a really neat piece. This would also be fun with those Jordan almonds. I also have an anchor hocking. At least that's the best I can decipher because there's no markings on the bottom. But judging by the top, and it's a mini fridge, uh, fridge, but judging by the top, the handle on the top, I could put it as an anchor hocking depression kitchenware glass piece. Really neat little jar. For, and you could use it for more just more than just the kitchen. That was hard to spit out. But really cute, tiny little guy. And last, just so you know, it's not all going to be kitchen glass that I'm going to be bringing. I have a few things that aren't kitchen glass, like this guy, this little pilgrim piece here. Let's see if I can get that sticker in there. And it is, I'm going to call it a marlin. It's really neat green, hand done, very nice bottom on it. Just a cute little doodad. Go in nice with some of your glass collection. So this also will be up for all. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you can make it tomorrow. It'll be 1 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be on Miss Claudia K Vintage's channel. I'll link it down in the description box below. And come hang out with us on your lunch break. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the show and learn a little something. So until next time, stay swanky and stay classy.